Jeanette Chung, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together. He's touched our hearts and our venom bladders. Barry B. Benson. Thanks for having me. You know, you're shorter in person than you look on TV. I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for bee's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, where did your hero's journey begin? Well, as you know, Jeanette, aside from having to break your way out of a wax cocoon at birth, college is one of the most challenging times in a young bee's life. Yes, I remember. I went to BU. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go, Go BU. BU. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Gotta go. What? No breakfast? No, thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work at Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight B's. None of their sons graduated with straight B's. Now go down there, son, and show them you're a Benson. Don't do that! Your father didn't leave on good terms! Oh, for the millionth time, <sighs> Janet, I did not steal those post-its. Bye, guys. Oh, Martin, will you stop it? What do I need with boxes and boxes of post-its? Uh, Barry, um, over, over here. Barry, uh, here, Barry. Hi, Adam. I'll tell you, I am excited. Think about it. It's our first day of work. We're about to embark on the next stage of life. Which leaves us only one stage away from death. We're a two-stage species, you know. Just give it a chance. Who knows? You might like it. That's what you said about B. Pilates. I still can't extend this arm all the way out. Sorry, pal, but nothing you say can bring me down today. Welcome to Honex, making honey the same tried and true way our ancestors did for the last five million years. Honey is brewed here 24-7, 365 days a year. What about leap year? Every four years on February 29th, all workers are treated to a free spa day, followed by a concert in the park. Wow, really? No, just kidding. We make honey that day, too. Oh. This is my stop. I'll catch you after my shift. Remember, the shift makes the man. You know, that's not really an expression. Oh, never mind. Attention, citizen. Do you want excitement? Do you want adventure? Do you want to serve your hive? A new job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come and see another quality product brought to you by Hunnix, the Hunnix Corporation, a division of Hunesco. What a great first day. I can't imagine anyone having a better first day of work. I can. What is with you? Can't you enjoy this just a little? What's to enjoy? I mean, it's not like a surprise opportunity here. Ever since I was a larva, the only thing I've heard about is honey. Every minute of the day. It's honey this and honey that. Honey, honey, honey. Everything is honey. Well, there's also wax, but mostly it's honey. What are you saying? I just have to believe there's more to life than making honey. Barry, we're bees. Bees make honey. That's what we do. Spiders spin webs, silkworms weave silk, snails... Uh, well, I don't know what they do, but you know what I'm saying. My point is, Barry, I, I just think you need to go with the flow, you know? Flow? What flow? There's no flow here. Oh, there's flow. Uh, taxi! So, you coming? Um, you go. I'll catch up later. Hello. I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcast in BHD. 
It has twice the stripes of BTV. Wow, twice the stripes. Now, Barry, just to give our viewers some background, had you ever been outside the hive before? Oh, no. So what happened? What led you to that first day outside? Well, Jeanette, there comes a time in every bee's life when he has to ask himself what he's made of. Is there something more? So you had an itch? Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones. A Jones led you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, yen. Because, you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. It's been said that just a mere sight of the outside can drive a bee mad. Oh, that's just an old wasp's tail. But it is big and loud. And, well, there is danger around every corner. And don't get me started on the rain. Did you say rain? Pouring rain, crazy rain, and wild animals, and humongous cars, and humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. But other than that, well, let me show you. Uh, Hal, can you roll that? Thanks. You know... I'm going with there. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. Listen up, boys. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission, and it needs to be completed ASAP. Oh. I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Bug Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. No, nah, he's with us, Lou. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. We got a rain advisory today, and no matter what some of you hotshots might think, Bees cannot fly in the rain. As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled-up magazines are not your friends. Oh, and absolutely no talking to humans. Make me proud, boys. Oh, nose petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Launch! <sighs> Watch out for the kites, boys. Judging from the winds, I suggest we use the snake maneuver to get underneath them. It's time for some ground level recon. This is Echo Delta Niner Victor Golf Foxtrot Bravo Alpha Alpha his military name is too hard to remember. Go bridge! Wow, what a view! Pathetic. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful, it's like a movie. It doesn't look real. I meant you. You want to be a pollen jock? Then where's your pollinator? How are you going to collect the pollen, genius? Stuff it in your pockets? Oh, sorry. Do you know where I could get? There. Now you're a real bee. Wow, you know it's heavier than it looks. If you do your job right, it's about to get a whole lot heavier. Oh, great. 
Now, I'd love to stand here and teach you all day, but we're kind of busy. Go get the flowers pollinated, mister. One beat. Already? You ain't seen nothing yet. We got trouble. Attention to all jocks. Dragonflies have entered the airspace. Come on, follow me. It's time for some action. Never knew the wild blue yonder could be so exhausting. Gotta catch my breath. That looks like a good place to land. Very yellow. Ooh, soft landing. Careful, guys. It's a bit grabby. Hey, guys! I made it! Hey! New guy! Watch it! You don't know what you're dealing with! Oh. Just gonna recharge the old engine here for a sec. Whew. the rain. No more. I want to go home. Man, I thought caterpillars were hairy. They're not fake. They're synthetic. What's real is their sparkle. That and the money that you'll still have in your wallet by not shelling out for the real thing. They were developed by NASA for the astronauts' wives. And nobody can tell. I'll bet a jeweler can tell. <laughs> what are you saying? You're a jeweler all of a sudden? No, Ken. I'm not saying I'm a jeweler. I gotta get out of here. What? Maybe this time. 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 That is diabolical! Oh, there's the sun. 
Maybe that's a way out. I'll be right back. We're out of coffee. Anyone need anything? Only your speedy return, my love. I'm good. No thanks. I'm fine. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. And if it falls out of the setting, they'll replace it for free for up to 17 months. 17? Uh, what are you all doing in here? There's a bee in the apartment! Why won't you just cooperate and let me stop you? Ken, what are you doing? He's just a poor defenseless bee. Defenseless? It's a bee! You know I'm allergic. There you go, little guy. Mary, I know I and so many other intelligent, highly attractive bees like me want to know. What's the scoop on the humans? Well, as far as species go, they're decent enough. So you like humans? The one's not trying to turn you into bottom of boot soup. What about this woman, Vanessa? You seem to have formed a special bond with her. Is that your phone? Nope, I'm on vibrate. What the? Will you get me a new earpiece? We're live, people! Amateur hour's over! Antennae will roll! Where were we? Oh, right, Vanessa. Tell us about her, Barry. We're friends. Good friends. The museum. I've heard their collection is, well, not so great right now. But guess what? There are many hidden statues that you can find when you fly outside New Hive City, and they'll be delivered here. Mortgage. I'm telling you, you've got to take some responsibility. Stand up. Be a mensch. What your father is saying, sweetheart. I don't need you to translate. I'm speaking to Queen Bee's English, aren't I? We only want what's best for you. No, we don't. We want you to get a job, get married, and move out. I love it here, Barry. It's really nice to just sit outside and hang out, you know? Bees aren't much for hanging out. We're a little more goal-oriented. Well, maybe hanging out should be your goal. Well, you probably don't have much time for that, being a florist. It hardly seems like work. I feel bad sometimes taking people's money for doing something I love. To spend my days surrounded by beauty. Well, this guy needs a touch-up. One touch-up coming up. Oh, Barry, it's lovely out here now. This calls for something extra special. Attention! Attention! Oh. All available units! The Hive is under attack! Wasp forces are attacking! We need backup! I've got to go. Well, well. Look who it is. Sorry to break up your little party, pal, but, uh... We'll play with you. Get him, boys! Take cover! It's raining! Vanessa! Man, where are you? Oh, Barry, you are wonderful. You've really inspired me, Barry. Just watch! Vanessa, you're flying! You're really flying! Vanessa!
Ah! Oh. oh, it was a dream, a horrible, horrible, yet strangely adolescent dream. What a nightmare. And we're back. Barry, tell us, how did you feel when you discovered the humans were stealing our honey? Um, hurt, betrayed, angry, gut punched, nervous, ambivalent, ticked off, peeved, really the gamut. You felt the gamut? A to Z? Uh, maybe not Z, at least W. When did you decide you were going to do something about it? I don't know if it was a conscious decision, instinct kind of took over. I became a warrior. I mean, these stingers aren't just for knitting mittens. What are mittens? Humans wear them on their hands when it's cold out. Did I mention how cold it is outside the hive? It's like a meat locker out there. Anyway, where was I? The honey? Right. Well, I had to find out where the humans were getting it. I had a lead, so I followed it, step by step, inch by inch, leaving no stone unturned. Oh, isn't that more of an ant thing? It's a figure of speech. Just honey, huh? Who's your supplier? Ha <laughs> ha! Hungar! Prepare to feel the sting! <laughs> Whoa! Honey come from? Where? Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and the top of this. All of it. I'm on fire! Hey, you think this is easy? Keep it up! Ow, ow, ow. Oh. I'm on fire! Better luck next time. I'm on a roll. I'm on fire. I'm on fire! Ouch! Ah. Nice try! Ah. 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 
next time. Give up! Hey, you think this is easy? Hey, you think this is easy? I'm on fire! Hey, you think this is easy? I gotta quit smoking. I mean, getting smoked. Easy there, son. You're safe. Just take a deep breath. Uncle Howard and Fran, are they... Dead? <laughs> nah. Still asleep. We're just early risers. Always have been. With the Beemans. From uh, 217 next door. I'm Harry, and this is Irene. We play cards with your aunt and uncle every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Wait, what happened here? Well, your uncle was trying to bluff with a pair of twos. No, I mean after that. So many questions. You know what you need? A nice warm glass of Hanala. Oh, sorry, sweetie. It looks like we're out. Out of honey? How can you be out of honey? Oh, it happens, Barry. We'll just make some more. That's what we do around here. We make honey. Then the mysterious white smoke comes. Knocks us all out. Uh, no disrespect, but don't you think it's kind of strange that someone knocks you out and steals all your honey? Excuse me, thanks. I really gotta go.
We'll tell your aunt and uncle you stopped by. Come back any time, Barry. Don't be a stranger. If that doesn't prove to Adam there's a swarm of wasps headed this way, I don't know what will. Wasp? Don't fall until you see the hexagonal patterns of their eyes. What an unexpected but terrifying and possibly deadly development. No pushing. Plenty of smoke for everyone. Move it, my pretties. Time to bring in the harvest. Smoke here. Get your smoke here. We shall return. You haven't seen the last of us. We have not yet begun to fight. Retreat! Who was that guy? He was like a crazed madman with that smoker. That's Freddy. He's the head beekeeper. Beekeeper? He keeps bees? He rules the apiary. Someone's got to take him down. We're with you. What's your plan? My plan? I, I meant someone else. Someone less put off by being smoked. But look around you. We need your help. It's just you and me, Smokey. Where there's smoke, there's Freddy. I love bees and smoke. Bees and smoke. Thus smoke Zarathustra. All right, fellas, I'm in. Keep it up. Nice try. Oh, hello, little birds. Hey, do you smell smoke? Huzzah! Hooray! Way to go, Barry! We showed him! Now it's time to show everyone else. Barry, you discovered the humans were stealing our honey, and you were brought before the queen. Tell me, was she beautiful? Um... I guess. I was commanded to bow a lot, so I didn't really get a good look. I've always felt that if the Queen and I were ever able to meet socially, we would become the best of friends. Uh, sure, why not? So you'll introduce me? I, I, I'm not sure I'd really feel comfortable. I mean, I don't really know her. I, we only met because I'd broken a B-law. It's not like, you know, we had tea. It was more of a sit-in-judgment-of-me kind of thing. The threat of execution was somewhat in the air. So you're saying no? Um, okay, so anyway, there I was. Living the life of a pollen jock. How would you please? I'm here with Barry B. Benson, the bee who sued the humans for stealing our honey. Do you like the law, Barry? I do. For a bee, if you want justice, you usually have to sting someone. What about Mr. Montgomery? What was he like? Oh, him? He's the worst. A sleazeburger of the first order. Why do you say that? because of all the rotten things he was into. You know, many people know about the honey crisis, but not everyone knows about the actual conspiracy at work behind it. Did you say conspiracy? I said conspiracy. Oh, sure, it wasn't enough that the humans were stealing all of our honey. They were up to something much worse, and Montgomery was at the soft, chewy center of it. That's why I needed to find proof. Really? Well, this is the kind of serious, hard-nosed journalism that I was born to report. What was that? Nothing. Where was I? Heinous conspiracy of epic proportions. I, I didn't say that, exactly. Please, Barry, go on. Tell us more. There he is. Ready, Adam? Giles, take me to La Couchon. I'm hungry. And take the long way. I have to place a call. Yes, sir. Ready? Hey, hey wait. Barry? Ready! But... Go! It's a beautiful day in the city. Thank you for joining us on Adventure Tours and Sightseeing, where every trip is an adventure. And on the top deck, you'll see a view. A bee! It's a beautiful day in the city. Thank you for joining us on Adventure Tours and Sightseeing, where every trip is an adventure. 
Get on the top deck, you'll see you here. Oh, me! Nice try. Hey, you're in good shape. You don't even look winded. Barry, I was trying to tell you. La Couchon was just down the street. I walked here. Oh, I, I... That must have been some call. You went all over. So, what's the plan? Right. Montgomery went into that restaurant. I'll take the front, you take the back. And then we jump him. No, we spy on him. Be a fly on the wall, get it? Yeah. Wait. I hate flies. Come on. So tell me, how are things shaping up? Very well. We've recently had a breakthrough that I think you should see. Superb. Yes, sir, I am pleased to hear it. I told you this idea was of the blue ribbon variety, and if we play our cards right, you and I very soon we will be holding the keys to the Honey Kingdom. But what about the bee? Ah, <laughs> yes, the bee. 
Well, I wouldn't fret none too much about him. I think between this case and what we have in store, uh, Mr. Benson and all of his kind are about to come down with a bad case of the hives, as it were. But how can you be sure? Firstly, I'll tell you right now that with what I have in my office, I can bring this case to a close before it even becomes a problem for us. Yes, sir. As for the rest, let's just say that I have a sense about these things. I assume it's in a secure location. My dear fellow, what do you take me for? It's in my safe in my most inner of inner sanctums. Only two of my most trusted partners in my office and I share the three different pieces of the access code, which constantly scrambles. They have to use their computers to get it each time. So, I know every move they make. Now, why don't you just leave it all to me? Adam, do you read? Usually a few chapters before bed. It helps me fall asleep. <sighs> Listen, I'm on to something. We're out of here. What kept you? Traffic was murdered. I mean, the traffic actually tried to murder me. I have to get in there. Barry, they're looking for you. I can maybe take care of the receptionist. But you're gonna have to find your own way in. And what is with that costume? It's my disguise. Cunning, don't you think? Uh, Barry, it's a fly. I know, it's perfect. Let's go. Make sure to pick up dry cleaning before six. Arrange a deposition for the Luco case. Oh, and make sure to clean the mortal remains of one Barry B. Benson out of my safe. It seems he was dumb enough to fall into my trap. Now, not only will he lose the case, but he's about to cash in his chips permanently. Oh, oh. oh note to self. Don't forget eggs, milk, and honey. <laughs> so are we gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? Oh, really? What's the easy way? Easy way is we beat you up, rip you to shreds, then feed what's left of you to the cat. Jeez, what's the hard way? Well, now you're talking about us getting mid-level on you. Mid-level? I think you mean medieval. Is he talking to me? Yeah, you, you do that good, boss. Are you talking to... Hey! Is there a lot of yellow in there? Because we could try daisies or daffodils. It's just beautiful. Let me see it. Who did you say sent him these flowers? His wife. He's not married. Um, mother. You know what? I think I'll just surprise him. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm Jeanette Chung. Join me as I talk with Barry B. Benson. Tonight, he'll reveal the inside scoop behind the honey crisis. All the action. The intrigue. The lawless abandon. Tonight, I bring you the inside story behind the inside story. Right here, right now, I'm Jeanette Chung. And we're back. Mary, I... What was that? What? All that conspiracy stuff? Kind of over the top, isn't it? I mean, lawless, abandoned? It's about ratings, Barry. But I didn't even mention that stuff until tonight. Where, where would you get the footage? It's the magic of television. Anyway, back to your story. Barry, for the average lay bee, explain what legal issues were at play here. Well, the thing with humans is they have a lot, and I mean a lot, of laws. Bees only have six laws. Seven if you count no honey on Saturdays. Most bees don't. Only orthodox bees. Right. So there's a lot of legal red tape to get through. 
You mean that tape that humans hang from ceilings to catch bees and kill them? I mean metaphoric red tape, although that other stuff is diabolical. So, what happened next? Well, while the trial started to heat up, things really began to cook with my investigation. Conspiracy! Yes. Please go on. Oh, boy. All right, so this is where humans keep their food. We're here to collect evidence. Why so many boxes? How many different kinds of food can they have? What the heck are cookies? There are a thousand different flavors. For humans, variety is the spice of life. I thought honey was the spice of life. For bees it is. If you're human, it's variety and something called paprika. Let's split up. You go this way, I'll go that way. Santa Maria. Hello? Yeah, it's me, Hector. I'm at the supermarket. The bee is here. See, the one from the trial. What do I do? Calm yourself, man. You gotta learn to keep your head. I'm through messing around with this bee. I'm sending over the big guns. Remember, move quietly. Stay in the shadows. The element of surprise is our greatest weapon. All we have to do is... Hey, B, you're in big trouble now. My boss just sent the leanest and meanest to mess you up. I better think of something. No way am I gonna let them stop me from finding that evidence. Give up? The mission will be completed. Hey, B, say hello to your little friend. Barry, help! Adam, I'm coming! Okay, that's enough. Let's see just how much your friend likes you. Adam, are you all right? <sighs> I'm good. <laughs> But I've got to tell you... Slow down. Breathe. Okay, stay put until I can find us a way out of here. Uh, Barry, I, I found it. I was using the scanner and I found it. What? Y you know how all roads lead to the hive? Well, there's something funny about these honey shipments. They're not coming in, they're going out. All to one place. And I found it. Hey, B, I think maybe I smell you. I think you need a shower. You know you can learn a whole lot from those nature shows on TV. For example, I just learned that bees cannot fly when they're wet. Stay here. I've got a score to settle. Can't, 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 you know, he doesn't really. He was a very minor figure, hardly worth mentioning. I mean, I have trouble even remembering his name sometimes. Was it Ben or Len or something like that? Oh, no. Is it him? I'm sorry, Ken. No, not the Italian boat. Honey! That was just a little hive quake. I knew that. We would do for one. You, Ken, and Vanessa. So, was it... A love triangle? Uh, no. I'm a bee and she's a human. Ken's a human. Barely. No triangle, then. How about a rhombus? Maybe a trapezoid? Can we change the subject? What's the matter, Barry? All this talk of a love triangle got you... bent out of shape? <laughs> triangle? Shape? Huh? How about that, huh? Tell me you got that on camera. That one's going on the Emmy reel. Did everyone see how I made a witty? Do you think I don't see what you're up to? I'm sorry? You're trying to steal my girl. Whoa, dude, just hanging out. What's that in your hand? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? Well, that's exactly what I'm remembering.
Ten. Okay, one word. Waffle cone. All right, it's a compound word. Watch away. Ken, what are you doing? Um, nothing. You are in big uh. trouble, mister. And I want to thank you all for this honor. I'll never forget you. You like me. You really like me. Um, excuse me? Can we get back to the story, please? I was just about to get to the good part. Good part? I'm all ears. Okay, have you ever heard of Operation Burspur? Burspur? Burspur. No. Well, I'm not surprised. Burspur was the code name for the plot that Montgomery was actually hatching during the honey crisis. With a name like Burspur? It's ridiculous. Let's take some callers. We'll see who else knows about this so-called operation Burspur. Call our toll-free number, 1-800- Wait a second, don't take callers now. Look, if you start taking callers, I'm not going to tell you about Burspur. Barry, I am a truth seeker. And as a truth seeker, I want my audience to know all the facts. For example, you were a cocoon wetter growing up, were you not? Hey, how did you... Hi, Barry! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Chung, for having us on the show. We're very proud of Barry. That's my son there. You know, he was going to be a stirrer like his old man. Oh, stop it! You're embarrassing him! He was never going to be a stirrer! You don't have any friends, do you? Not a one. Okay, I'll tell you about Burspur. Is that the latest on Operation BRSPR? Burspur, yes, sir. Are you making a joke? No, sir. It is Burspur. Well, keep that under lock and key. And laser. Laser? What's that smell? It smells delicious. Why, it's honey. Oh, how I've missed a taste of the good stuff. Now, one lick won't hurt anyone. <laughs> mm. <sighs> ah, it's awful. It looks just like honey, but it tastes like Brussels sprouts. Operation Burst Burr. Burst Burr. Brussels, Brussels sprouts! sprouts! Yuck, I gotta get that taste of Brussels sprouts out of my mouth. Well, well. Looky here, guys. It's our little B-boy. Come home to roost. <laughs> yeah, roost. First of all, bees don't roost. Second, is this really the best work you could come up with? And third, do any of you have any minty gum? I can't get the Brussels sprouts taste out of my mouth. Yeah, that's a big boss's plan. Don Montgomery is going to turn the entire world's supply of honey into that stuff. It looks like honey, feels like honey, smells like honey, <laughs> tastes like Brussels sprouts. Oh, the horror, the horror. That includes the stuff you bees have, too. With the stockpiles he has underground, he'll corner the market. Everyone will have to come to him. He'll be the wealthiest man in the world. Yeah, and what do you hornets get out of the deal? What else? All the candy we can carry. <sighs> Enough to become kings ourselves. He keeps it all in his special briefcase. Really generous of you guys to tell me what's going on here. I suppose now is where you say, but you'll never get out of here to use that information, right? Yeah, something like that. It's nothing personal, you understand. It's just something that we wanted to do. It wouldn't look right otherwise. Thanks for understanding. Get him, boys! Wait. So, Barry, what did you do then? Well, Jeanette, I did what any other red-blooded American bee would do when facing a threat like this. I shared the wealth. Mmm, -hmm. honey, 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 I love you. Very soon, thanks to you, I will be a wealthy, wealthy man. What? What? No! No! Oh, not Brussels sprouts! No! No! Bad How 
How many spoonfuls of honey do I like in my tea? Uh, three. Exactly. Now you'll know for next time. Psst. Jeanette, we're on the air. What? We are on the air. Oh. So, Barry, how did it feel to defeat the humans? Well, I didn't defeat the humans. What did I really do? Well, I won a small legal victory against them, resulting in a multi-billion dollar judgment bankrupting their honey industry and restoring bees to their rightful place at the top of the honey chain. Interesting. Let me throw the question open. Adam, how did it feel? Um, hello? Hi, pal. Adam, how did it feel to go up against Mr. Montgomery? Uh, awkward. I have to go now. Okay. So, Barry, any regrets? Well, aside from winning the case and nearly destroying the Earth, uh, not that I can think of, no. But, you know, it didn't stop there. Afterwards, there was a whole media frenzy thing, and that was tough. Well, Barry, it takes a certain kind of person to deal with fame and the demands of the media. The struggles of on-camera life, the constant interviews, the need to always look absolutely stunning. Oh, it takes a lot out of you. Uh, actually, I was just talking about the... You know, let me just show you. Come on, all the way in, and we're flying, we're flying. So, tell us more, Barry. Yeah, Barry, tell us how you felt during the trial. What? Oh, sure. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, this, in the human world, is a court of law. And in this court, all beings are created equal and entitled to be heard. And that's exactly what I did. I stood right here and calmly, eloquently presented our case. Your Honor, I object on account that Mr. Benson is a no-good, a no-account insect who sought to dig up all sorts of so-called evidence and put to harm and ruin all of the plans for domination which I so craftily formulated and handed down, not to mention making a mockery of this court and our sacred judicial system. I therefore move for a mistrial. You can't move for a mistrial. We won fair and square. Besides, the court's not in session. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Any calm and eloquent last words now, Benson? Yes. Run! I mean, fly! I hold you all in contempt. Nice try. Good! Ah! Ah! Good. You missed. Just go away, and I would have been rich! Rich! Guys, little help here! Too bad the scales of justice aren't in your favor this time, B. Guys, come on, we're all in this together! If we let this guy win, what does that say about us as a species? Are we bees or are we keychains? Keychains! No, we're bees! Hey, he's right. We are bees. Right! Come on! Let's get him! Except you, keychain guy!
It's over, Montgomery. Your ruling is overturned! It started with honey, but it nearly wiped out the entire world. Could it happen again? The answer might shock you. Watch as I wrap up the fascinating interview with Barry B. Benson. Tonight, I am Jeanette Chung. Hi, Barry. Listen, my producer insists that I ask you this silly question. I apologize in advance, but don't worry, it's a softball. I'm here to answer any and all questions, Jeanette. Fire away. Good. Were you aware of the delicate balance in the ecosystem between bees, flowers, and humans when you went on your selfish, foolhardy crusade? <laughs> wow, you're not kidding around, are you? Okay, so I made a few mistakes. But there is a bright side, you know. Oh? How so, Mr. Doom? Well, I think everybody learned how important they are, not just to the hive, but to the world around us. The truth is, from pollen jock to factory drone, every bee is a queen. I mean, not like... I mean, you know what I mean. We're, we're all uh, special. I see. So with the honey case wrapped up, the conspiracy foiled, Montgomery brought to justice and the world restored, what's next for Barry B. Benson? You know what I meant before, right? I mean, I, I wasn't saying that I could be the queen. I got it. So what's next? Maybe acting? Nah, I'm not much of an actor. I mean, I'm good with a funny line, but I, I don't think I could play real emotion. Any last words for the audience, Barry? Just that this has all really been an adventure for me, and it's what I wish for everyone, be or human. May your life always be an adventure. A wish for adventure from a bee who's had quite an adventure himself. We'll now take you out live with Barry and the Pollen Jocks restoring the world. What? Live? That's amazing. Oh, wait, this is where we do the reenactment, isn't it? You're catching on. So much for the magic of television. You've been watching New Hive Tonight. We need to save these flowers. I may have made a mistake, but now I'm going to fix it, even if I have to pollinate every flower in this park by myself. Now, who's with me? We are! Let's do it! Thanks, team. Add one more to the countdown next time, Hal. I need 11, understand? And Sally, it's two honeys in my latte, sweetie. And anyone else I don't fire tonight, I'll see you bright and early. Ta-ta!